So when we're doing a rabbit, okay, what we've got to do, these ones have come in from a local game dealer and unfortunately for you guys they've already been gutted. So what they've done, um, they've split it basically from nipple to navel and taken out the guts. And the guts on these things are not very pleasant. Okay, they're wild animals, they, um, they eat off of the land, bugs, insects, anything that's going, okay, as well as veggie stuff uh, and carrots like you see in the cartoons. But they, but the guts are pretty, pretty darn bad, so they've been um, removed. You'll see that also what they've done is they've put a nick through the back of one of the legs and they've actually threaded the other foot through. That's just purely for hanging, so that when it's being hung, okay, that's, that's uh, just makes it easy. And uh, uh, no jokes, the, the legs don't come apart. So what we've got to do, we've got to get rid of the fur off of this rabbit, okay, and hygienically, whereabouts on this rabbit is the most unhygienic bit? Sorry? I'll tell you then, why? What's in here? Yeah? Yeah, it's backside. That's where most of the bacteria is going to be. Because traditionally what they would tell you is that you would turn the, uh, the legs inside out and to skin it and then take it all over the head. Okay, that's no longer uh, the way that they tell you to <coughs> skin a rabbit. My, uh, the, the old saying there's more than one way to skin a rabbit not anymore because we don't want the the feces from this end getting in touch with the rest of the meat okay so the best way to do it okay is to start off separating okay and what I'm going to do is I'll start to separate from where it's been gutted around here and I'm going around the middle what are you doing with okay. the fur? the fur will go in the bit because it could have parasites in it it could have anything Okay. I can't make a fur you, coat. you should not be able to. You should not be able to um, oh. legally prepare game in a building. Usually, normally they would have a separate outhouse. Okay, that is done for skinning game because you could have any any manner of insects and, and spores and things in here that could go onto the other food. Okay, that's why we've got absolutely no other food out at the minute in this part of the kitchen and we're going to do this and then everything's going to be really well sanitised before we keep going. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm working my way round until I can actually get my fingers all the way round the skin on the inside and out the other side. Okay, and whereas they used to then tell you to go over the legs and out and over the top. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to go from the middle and go in both directions. So first thing I'm going to do is put that skin. Okay, I've worked my way around and now what I can do is actually it does just peel off. Peel off. Yeah. The skin. Sounds real. Okay. What I'm actually going to try to do. Okay, we don't want all of this bit in here that we talked about. That's all the nasty bits. Okay, so as I'm coming across here, I'm going to be careful. It is like uh, you know, if I'm sure James that you know when you've had dollies when you're when you're a boy you used to undress them in very much the same way. Okay. <laughs> So, so, I'm just removing any bits of seed from here, and we don't want, basically, its backside, which has got all these bits that are uh, unhygienic, we don't want them in there, so what I'm going to do is actually remove as much of that as I can as I'm taking this off. And once I've got to there, what I can do... get rid of that that's going to go straight into the bin okay I'm coming up over the other way you just cut the head straight off we'll do when I get to that bit yeah. uh, depending on how long it's been hung for and this has not been hung for very long uh, but if it's been hung for a while when you pull the skin off the head usually comes with the skin anyway <laughs> okay oh. but this has not been hung for that long so I dare say we'll have to cut off the, uh, the head when we get to that bit okay so, looking through in here, still getting rid of the skin. It's just a matter of just working it gradually. Just gradually. working it gradually, because we don't really want to tear any flesh, so if I've got to sort of work in there a little bit with the knife, and it's almost like, like you were saying when you're doing your dollies, James, I'm going to work it inside out okay, to, to actually undress the arms, the front feet, as it were. Do the same thing. Uh, just nip through that bone. And the same on this side. So 
I'll loosen that off as far as I can. Once again, put my knife through. Cut. Now as we get up towards the head. Make it through a little bit of sinew so you can just pull just, it right. Yeah, that's it. I don't want to tear any of the flesh. Sometimes if you just tear at it, you're going to pull all the flesh off as well, which we really don't want. Very, very easy to skin a rabbit and when we look inside here okay this is the important bit because although I got rid of quite a bit this part which is the bit that people find uh, rather squeamish okay um, it's not very pleasant because inside here there are still some bits that we don't want to contaminate onto food and the best way to get rid of them and you're not going to like it is actually to get rid of it as much as you can. <laughs> okay. What we've got to do is completely remove the anus okay. of the animal because we don't want any of that in contact with the food. Okay. So we've got some kidneys in here. Do, you okay. do they leave them in again to show how fresh it is? No. Normally when you buy it, it will have all of the, uh, the guts in. This one's been gutted for us. We've got the, the liver in here, okay, which is just below the diaphragm. Okay, and up in here we should have the heart. There's our heart. And the lungs as well now. I wouldn't recommend eating the lungs. The but the other bits you could use in pâtés and things like that. Okay. So, essentially, I've removed all the inner bits from this. And now I'm going to actually, because we've obviously been touching some parts that are not very nice and I don't want to carry on handling this, once I've got to this stage, I'm actually going to give this a wash now before I carry on doing anything. And I'm going to turn my board over so that I'm working in.